Hey. Yesterday, I went to the creek and I got pretty scraped up. I'm healing fine. I found some nice cast pieces, but I also found this. And I find the oxidation on this to be absolutely beautiful. So let's use this as our handy dandy 24 volt power source and get ourselves some hot water. I couldn't have picked a worse container, gosh, okay, no. Using a tiny sponge, I scrubbed it and it looks like it is cleaning up slowly. The back is especially cleaning up. I love that texture. What an interesting texture. Now to turn it back on. Well guys, it's been two hours, two and a half hours actually. Still pulling 150 milliamps. Power off. So it's been a week and I've been enjoying how much we cleaned this up already. We got all the green off of this side. I feel like we should go a little bit further and my main concern is that, well, I do have a fuse in this circuit, but I don't want to pop the fuse in my multimeter if these two touch. So what I'm going to do is this. So theoretically, this won't fall in and nothing will come and hit this. That should be pretty good. And then I figure we can do another thing of setting this really close. Okay, now we can go in, start our connection. Not bad, not bad. I think I'm going to go the long, slow route with this and just let it go with a little bit of power. And please note that I'm doing it with the window open, that way it helps circulate the air and we have the window open on the other side of the apartment so it blows it on through. It's been about five hours. Let's see what we got. So guys, it's been like 16 hours and it's kind of wild how much it's been going. I 
think it might actually be pitting the metal a bit much. So that's going on a little bit too far. Whoops, okay. Okay guys, so it's been a few days and this has developed into a, it, it almost looks like a sandblasted. Whenever I, I have a custom mount that my phone is in, so it fits into my microscope. When I move the light around, you can see the, it's like little grains because I had this electrolyzing for, oh, like half a day, almost an entire day. Let's move it down to that. Interesting. So we have this side, which a lot of the green has left. On the inside, we have some fracturing of the crystal structure, which I believe that is aluminum oxide. And then you have this, which is a silvery, almost like it's another metal on the edge there. I'm moving the light around to show it. And this side, you can see again, how the electrolysis almost, oh yeah, you can see that, that metal continues. The electrolysis revealed this, almost looks like a sandblasted structure. It's a really fascinating type of erosion. There's that little bulge where the metal been corroded so much that it, it's expanded within the metal and pushed it out. I don't really want to break those crystals out because I find them really fascinating. And then there you can see that the metal in the inside that I scraped stuff away from, there is a section there where it's still quite new. Let's take a look at how that looks. And then I'm going to go to the workshop and we're going to sand it. Oh, that's interesting. microscope really set up quite right yet but oh look at that scoring I'm going to adjust it a little bit more other way oh those are interesting okay let's try So that's over that spot. And now I want to look at, I'm just going to hold this piece up. What a strange metal. You can see my heartbeat in the vibration of the focus because I'm holding it, but yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting that you get to see that silveriness there. And then lastly, I'm going to try to get some of that clean surface. And there we have the original surface. This is that section which is really newer looking. You can see the original extrusion marks. It's 
so much oxidation and crystallization on the outside of it. That's so fascinating. Hey guys, so we have the 400 grit sandpaper on my belt sander and this is actually pretty well used so it's so smooth you might as well consider it 600 grit. I think I'm going to keep the side that has the raw metal on it but I'm going to sand this side. That's a really cool effect. It's been a few weeks and I've been using this 1200 grit sandpaper on this piece of float glass. Actually, it's a factory window pane. And I've decided to stop. Instead of getting to 100% polish, I think it would be good to get it oh interesting it's oxidized i think it'd be interesting to keep it like it is instead of getting it fully polished i really love the difference in texture i'm now noticing though that it really does take fingerprints like crazy like that. I don't know what that is. It's not a fingerprint. Oh, yeah, maybe that is a fingerprint. This would just be used to. guys that is now a little sample found in the creek of extreme aluminum corrosion i still can't find my power supply for some reason oh well now this will go into my materials collection hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching see ya